Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at these eTrailer channel tongue trailer couplers. We've got a couple different sizes with us today. They're all gonna be an inch and seven eighths ball size with a 2000 pound gross trailer weight rating. But the big difference here is going to be our two inch channel version here, our two and a half inch channel, and the bigger three inch channel here. So just measure your trailer, see which one you need, and otherwise they're all gonna function the same way. Let's check them out. They're all gonna be a durable steel construction with a zinc finish to help it resist rust and corrosion over time and feature a trigger style latch. So these function pretty well right out of the box. One of the things I worry about is just how long they last, but we do have a fair few reviews on the site from people after a year saying that they have held up pretty well. So that for me eases up some of my concerns. You can see on the internals there how that trigger latch is working. That jaw will just wrap around the ball for your ball mount and hold everything nice and tight. You will want to pick up a pin or a locking pin to secure this latch when it's in place. The diameter of that hole is gonna be 5 16 of an inch and the minimum span or distance you need for a locking one is going to be 5 8 of an inch. So just make sure you've got that clearance if you do decide to pick up a lock. We do have plenty of options on our site here at eTrailer so be sure to check those out. Now for all these trailer couplers, the distance between your mounting holes here is gonna be two and a quarter inches. So just make sure, one, you either check your existing coupler, see what that spacing is, or if you're going to be mounting this up from scratch, just know that you'll have to drill those holes. They are gonna be three eighths of an inch of diameter, and you will need to pick up your own hardware if you're not reusing your existing hardware. Installation is gonna be quick and easy. It's just a simple bolt-on installation. And for ours today, we just removed the old coupler and put the new one in its place. Let's check out how we did it. So starting off our installation, we're gonna be installing the two inch channel version. All the install processes are gonna be the exact same though. It's really just a matter of taking off the old one and putting the new one in its place. So for us today, we're just gonna get this one taken off by undoing the nut on the driver's side here and the bolt. Once we've got the nuts off, we can take these bolts out. For this front one, our safety chains are fed through it. So we'll set those down. And then we can take this other one out, remove the old coupler and pop the new one in its place. We'll take the new one and luckily our holes line up with the old ones. And we'll just reuse our old hardware since it doesn't come with its own. Just keep that in mind if you do need to pick up your own hardware. And then I will pass the safety chains back through this front bolt like we had it before. So that those stay in place. And just secure it on the other side with our washer and nut. And then we can just secure everything down. And that'll do it for our look at these e-trailer channel tongue trailer couplers. Thanks for watching.